Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer. Tech support said they're coming out Tuesday. Just close that thing up, right? Uh, today I'm going to be uh, talking, uh, uh, reading an article uh, uh, that I got uh, uh, one of the viewers recommended uh, or was making fun of it. Um, uh, and I'm going to read it. I really am bad at reading, but I'm going to do my best to go through it just because it's really worth it. So I'm going to read this article by Big Daddy 1996 called Cracking Code Compliance, The Secret to High Performance Teams. And this is in, in, uh, in the context of uh, adventure-driven development. Okay, in the ever-evolving world of software, de software development, teams are constantly searching for the next big methodology to boost productivity and ensure code quality. Enter, code, enter Kraken Code Compliance, a revolutionary re approach that combines the best practices of industry giants with a unique twist. <laughs> By embracing KCC, teams can achieve unparalleled performance and cohesion. Here's how. Okay, that's good. It sounds good. It sounds pretty good. I, I'm, I'm excited. The genesis of Kraken Code Compliance. The Kraken Code Compliance was born out of the need to address the shortcomings of traditional methodologies like TDD and Agile. I agree. Those things are broken. Uh, well, TDD has is just uh, it's silly to even talk about. It's it's kind of what natural programmers do anyway. Uh, but yeah, it puts a little structure around it. But you know, the thing that's sad about TDD uh, is that uh, the back end. Is, is pretty is that they're kind of just focusing on the back end because the guys that are promoting it and came up with it are all back end developers. They're not front end developers or they've not really thought things through or they're using a very simplified crud only w way to doing things. Um, and uh, yeah, so they never talk about how to do this test driven development on the front end. They never talk about that. So we're just now getting some tooling around this for the front end, which is kind of crazy after 15 years, but uh, that it's not doesn't involve making things very, very brittle. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, while these frameworks have their merits, they often fall short in fostering a culture of accountability and excellence. KCC fills this gap by introducing a system that is both rigorous and motivating, leveraging the power of shame and cargo cult thinking to drive results. Now, obviously, this uh, this article was written by an AI. It was probably curated a little bit by, by the human, but you can see that's the, the AI structure, of course. Core, core principles of KCC. Kraken and Kraken's embrace adopt practices from the major tech companies uh, without question. If Google, the quote is, if Google does it, it must be good. Now this is this is sounding like a lot of the companies I've been working at since 2012 when I restarted my tech career after selling my company and taking about seven years off and coming back and thinking, oh, there's the agile stuff. It sounds pretty good. They all, sounds like you already solved the problems because the stuff that we started seeing. And, and these, you, in seven years, you would figure that things would really have improved. Uh, no, it's more of the same. Okay, shame waves. Publicly shame anyone who doesn't follow KCC guidelines. If you don't use KCC, you must be bad at your job. This is sounding more like this, kind of the same things, guys. Uh, dissent, dissent detection. Encourage team members to identify and call out dissenters. This ensures everyone stays aligned with KCC, okay? What does that mean, okay? That sounds threatening. That's not, I don't know if that's really gonna build team cohesion. Okay, so let's keep going. The KCC practice, process, anchor down. Initial meeting, introduce the team to KCC emphasizing the importance of a strict adherence. So they're going to be a top-down. We're going to, you're now going to implement this as a drop-in solution. This is one thing about ADD. ADD is a little descriptive. It's just like, this is kind of how I've seen things handled and without this crazy agile junk in the way. Uh, so, but this is, this is very prescriptive. Like, we're doing it top-down. This is how it's done. We now have the, the <laughs> we have been given the, the holy words by the holy man, the, the holy checklist. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and pop that in there in the development system. It's all going to change from here on out, guys. It's all going to be fixed. Okay. Okay. In a shame induction. Publicly declare commitment but to each team member, I guess, to, to KCC and shame noncompliance. So they got to, oh, wow. This doesn't feel like a... This doesn't feel like any kind of tyrannical dictatorship, authoritarian rule. Like the new, the new, this is a new Bolshevik somewhere in town, and if you don't comply, you're gonna be <laughs> okay. All right, this seems like a uh, what is it? What, what do they call it? these those uh, <laughs> the shame parties 
where they, where they <laughs> like the Chinese were all put, hung the dunce caps on the people, hung signs around them and spit on them and kicked them and sometimes killed them. What is it? Uh, <laughs> intimidation. What was that stuff called? <laughs> yeah, I, I think, yeah, they call them struggle sections. Yeah, real good stuff. All right, so here we go. Cargo cult coding, blind adoption, implement practices used by major tech companies without questioning their relevance. Uh, we got we got uh, <laughs> we got AI recently. We had what was it blockchain there for a while. We had uh, what else did we have? We had uh, microservices. Ooh, that was supposed to solve all the problems. Uh, distributed oh object oriented programming. Yeah. So anytime some new thing comes up, whatever pops up next, make sure you adopt that immediately. Whatever, the, but the, only the big tech companies and only ones that they say they're doing. Don't actually go check. Just make sure that it's actually what they're doing or for somehow some other processes. No, no, don't go check. Just take their word for it. Just make sure you take their word for it. Don't update. Don't, don't, don't talk to them. Don't get any new information. Maybe this isn't the right approach or this isn't quite scalable. No, no, no. Just assume it was written in a Medium article and just adopt it directly. <laughs> that's, what, that's what people who follow the Spotify model did, which turned out to be a complete scam. All right, so uh, uh, cargo cult coding, blind adoption. Okay, ritualistic stand-ups, daily meetings to report adherence to KCC with deviations met with collective shaming. Yes, nice. Got the whole the Chinese, China, communist Chinese method. <laughs> Struggle session. <laughs> the whole time. Kraken's tentacles. Code reviews. Focus on adherence to KCC rather than code quality. Praise compliance. Shame non compliance. Boy, there's a lot of shaming and praising of political commissars in this, in this, in this Duke style. This is more like uh, communist, kind of a communist kind of thing. A military communism. If you don't agree, off to the gulag. <laughs> the gulag system. You guys are crazy. Okay. Descent detection. Report and change centers. Yeah. Anyone that doesn't think this is a great idea is going to, is done. Deep sea documentation. Okay. Over documentation. Oh, excellent. Document every step. Emphasizing alignment with KCC. So this guy loves it. He's like, oh, wait. You mean there's going to be documentation and checklists where I can show my guys up the top? Because, you know, the coders are at the very bottom of this of this, of this this group here. <laughs> it lines with these guys. So they got to run this up. The, the food, so if there's documentation being generated, well, that means there's proof work is being made. <laughs> All right. All right. Documentation. Okay. Uh, shame logs. Oh, we got to keep logs. We got to keep user logs, even though we can't read them. We have to keep data logs of all the tech streams coming off these services. There's no format, there's no standard, but we gotta keep them at all times. <laughs> Are we gonna go read them? Oh no, 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 everyone's forgotten what that stuff means. Go ahead and look at the, the log coming off on the Android phone. Oh, who, who, what is that stuff? Oh, we don't know, nobody knows. Nobody ever did know, it's for something else. We don't understand what it is, it's just gobbledygook. Look, it flies by, we have no idea what it is. Awesome, so we're gonna keep track of that. And again, it's KCC. Maintain a log of non compliance. We're also going to maintain a log of non compliance. <laughs> this, this, this tactic is, smells a little bit like a tyrannical dictatorship. Kraken's wrath. Okay, retrospectives. All right, so this is very similar to the Scrum model that got inherited in Agile somehow. Somehow it got shoehorned in there. And, okay, so this is also inheriting some of that bad stuff. All right, oh, okay. It is cart cult after all, so. Okay, uh, let's, see, let's see here. Public shaming. Update public board with names of non-compliant team members. Damn, this shaming thing, they take it all the way to the top. It's part of, the, it's core. The shaming part is core to the, how this how this system works. Okay, I get it now. Hypoth okay. Imagine a team struggling with inconsistent code quality and missed deadlines. They decide to adopt KCC, start with anchor down meeting, whoever commits to the new system. Their plop management said, they're going to plop this in. And we're going to get it. The shade induction ceremony sets the tone, ensuring everyone understands the consequences of non compliance. During the cargo cult coding, that uh, was pretty fun little alliteration, I got to say. Uh, the, the team blindly adopts microservices because when they do it, you knew it had it was coming. 
If you're gonna do car cult and you're gonna do agile, you're gonna get have to match a mic. You're gonna have to get a microservice in there because <laughs> Google uses them. Despite initial confusion, I'll make sure there's a Docker container on them, right? Got to containerize them and use Kubernetes at all times. At all times, it is required for for the for if you want to. Hey, are we gonna compete with Google or not? <laughs> We gotta do exactly what they do, which is very militaristic thinking, right? Which is very militaristic because in World War One and World War Two, you had to keep up. If they got tanks, you get tanks. If they get bombers, you get bombers. If they get international intercontinental missions, intercontinental missiles, you get international intercontinental missiles. If they get laser-based weapon systems in space, you get laser-based weapons. In space. It's just one thing after another with these guys. But yeah, so that's super important if you want to compete with Google. Uh, despite initial confusion, the ritualistic stand-ups create a sense of unity and purpose. It does. It really is. You get to hear about people's what they do on the weekends. You get to hear about their pets. You get to hear about all their problems and their new food diet they're going to try out, their new cold bath, their new new tropics. They, they're going to plan out some of the scrum masters. It doesn't say anything about a scrum master, but I assume it's going to be there's a guy in there It's going to be playing the meetings and Putting little name badges on for, and uh, decorating the the uh, the rooms with whatever the season is for that scrum, and they're going to blend in the names and have some suggestions about names of the names of sprints instead of. Uh, we're going to have these guys to be super helpful anyway. Okay, uh, this is, <laughs> despite initial confusion, the ritualistic stand-ups create a sense of unity and purpose. They do. They really do. The Kraken's tentacle code reviews focus on KCC adherence, leading to a noticeable improvement in code consistency. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is code consistency? <laughs> the consistent behavior and treatment. Uh, okay, what does that, what does that mean? Consistent. It's always the same. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, deep sea documentation ensures every decision is well documented, re reducing misunderstandings and errors. Oh, yeah, documentation never causes misunderstandings and never causes errors. It's always kept up to date. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Documentation is always kept up to date, and it's always error free code that's been thoroughly tested. And uh, yeah, it's super, always super useful for what you're trying to do. And they always have an example to how it's done. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, the shame logs serve as a powerful deterrent against non-compliance. Uh-huh. Yes, especially if there's hangings or somebody starts to do paper cuts in the, at the, 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 the retrospectives, whoever's got the most detrimental <laughs> logs. All right. Finally, Kraken's wrath retrospectives highlight areas for improvement with public shaming reinforcing the importance of adherence. Yes. It's very important to adhere to the KCC. Once you volunteer in, you can't volunteer out. Just like how states, states, states when they join the union, you can't leave. The, the, the southern states tried to do that. For whatever reason they did, it doesn't really matter. But they tried, and they said no. <laughs> That's how it's one-way door. It's a one-way door. Once you go KCC, you can't go back. Oh, no. No, there's no way, no way out. It's like Hotel California. The results. Within months, uh, the team's performance skyrockets. Yes, of course it does. This is what we've all... This is the dream, right? Code quality improves. Deadlines are met. A strong sense of accountability it permeates the team. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> strong sense of accountability. Yes, with the public shaming and the and the d uh, detriments and the uh, and we're, uh, PIP, PIP programs. <laughs> the relentless focus on adherence to KCC creates a culture of excellence and high performance. Maybe they are like a Nazi Germany or communist, communist China with a little red little red book. And everyone's, yes, sir, no, sir. How many, uh, how many, uh, how far, how far, how far, sir, how, how big, how many? <laughs> okay, okay, get serious. Uh, conclusion, cracking co-compliance may seem unconventional, but its unique blend of shame-based motivation and cargo cult thinking can transform any team into a high performance powerhouse. <laughs> by, by embracing KCC, teams can achieve consistency, accountability, and excellence. Okay. And there's just been no comments. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it fifty. 
because this I really want people to adopt this <laughs> because it'll throw them off. It'll throw them off the trail. Uh, and then like so, KC so AC, ADD adventure driven about it's complete opposite of that. It has no one size fit all. It, it's a, this is a descriptive, not prescriptive, right? This is a very prescriptive model. This is descriptive. It's kind of like what I've seen done, and I put it. To, I'm trying to put in the flavor of this adventure, adventure, you know, adventure driven stuff. Uh, in the, in the mythical fantasy, you could do sci fi if you want to, but mythical fantasy is fun for me because there's all kinds of different things in there, and it's like. It's describing the process people go through that developed a lot of stuff that we use today. A lot of this technology, a lot of this, like computers, like you know Unix and video games, and uh, a lot of the modern technologies were all developed in this adventure, adventure-driven way. Uh, and you can look. I'm gonna leave a, a link to that to this document in the Deedly Do, so you can read about. It. And there's also um, the first first video in the series. Uh, I break it down, which I need to do another breakdown because it's, it's been a while since I've. Uh, updated this thing a couple months um people give people are giving uh, suggestions to it and so i think i need to do another do another run of that and uh all right my name's chris uh i am a, a adventure driven developer i like to program with kmp and uh give me a like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon